All right, hello, this is Neil Fontaine, the art instructor at masterpainnow.com and top selling instructor at Udemy. Also best selling author of How to Draw Awesome Figures. You can find the book on Amazon. All right, so let's get started here. And in here I'm gonna show, I was gonna make this all one video, but I decided, you know what, that video is already getting too long. And so I decided to make a separate video here on how to draw a willow tree from reference, but how to draw it in a simplified comic book style. So here we have the willow tree. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, opacity up here. It's a very small picture, which is good. We don't want a lot of detail because if there's too much detail, you're going to get stuck on drawing the detail rather than drawing drawing a more comic book style. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is um, kind of have where I want the, the trunk to be. And then I'm going to take the major shapes. And I'm just going to kind of draw them as kind of like circles. All right, these are going to be the major chunks of shapes and if I have it overlapping I'm going to show one overlapping the other I'm going to show this is overlapping like that just to show that we have where we have our shapes at I want this overall kind of shape to be in here kind of like that shape here now we're not trying to draw exactly what we see I'm just doing the outline here first but we're trying to you know get inspiration from the willow tree what does the willow tree look like what does it feel like and I see this big old mass of here. I like that mass, so I'm going to kind of represent that as an actual shape here. We'll have overlapping shapes here, making this overall piece like that. And you know, when I think of willow trees, I don't know, I kind of think of Dr. Seuss for some reason. I don't know. And so, um, you know, looking at some Dr. Seuss books might be some good inspiration. I'm going to kind of have some overlapping there. I'll just show you one technique here that I'm kind of imploring here. Let's uh, move this down so I have a little bit more room to work with. I just want to make some top adjustments here. I kind of like that overall shape I had there. Kind of negative space there is kind of cool and overlapping here. So that's the, the main basic shapes. And I want those to be represented in here. Now I'm going to overlap them as I, as I draw this tree. I'm going to take my eraser really quickly and just kind of lightly lighten this up but I want to still be able to see what I'm doing here. So first thing I'm going to start with is middle mask. I like it a lot. And I'm going to just kind of come up with some very similar idea, but I kind of want kind of almost like this waterfalls cascading effect to my leaves. And I'm going to kind of come like this. I don't want too much detail, so I'm going to kind of come in here like this. This would be the base idea. And I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to draw what I see. I'm not trying to represent what it is I'm looking at in front of me. I'm trying to draw stylized what I see and that, that can take some practice it can take a long time before it finally clicks for you but when it does it's such a good good feeling to be able to look at something and represent it now until then though you know like I said you can look at other artists inspirations you know like like mine for example um, there's tons of other artists out there you can look at that have rendered willow trees in their in their own way um, it might be hard pressed though to find willow trees in comic books Probably because, honestly, they're not easy to represent in a way that really looks like a comic book. You might be able to find them in cartoons and stuff a little bit ready, more readily. Now, I really like this overall shape here. I'm going to kind of pull this down and pull it down. I want to just kind of represent a few of those lines. I'm going to kind of end the lines like this. To me, that is almost like a Dr. Seuss thing. So I don't know if you're familiar with Dr. Seuss trees. I think you can kind of see the inspiration there where they're kind of just overlapping. I'm going to leave some negative space here and there. I think that's pretty cool. And I'm having these overall shapes kind of interlock together. And I want to just kind of pull some of those lines all the way down. And you can see if I kind of add a little bit of shading here and there to some of these forms, it kind of separates them. I have some darker and some lighter lighter shades. I might want to show a few branches here and there, but what I like about the willow tree is that it's really a lot of you know blank space, and I like that about it. Not blank space, sorry. Uh, not many branches. It's it's mostly all just kind of tree <laughs> foliage. That's the word I'm looking for. All right. So I'm having some dark areas, some light areas. This will kind of sell the idea that there's some dimension to the tree 
but when you're drawing, you want to be fast. You know, like when you're drawing comic books, you want you want it to be fast, but represent. And so here's one technique that I come up with, you know, for the willow tree. And I, I had to practice a little bit, you know, with willow trees and kind of figure out what's the, what's the main idea that I'm trying to represent. And, and it's this kind of weeping idea, this, you know, like right here. And then all right here, I'm gonna kind of have a lot of darkness in here. And I kind of like the idea of, you know, having a lot of darkness on this side of the tree to represent. I usually draw like this anyway. Um, I have my light source more on the right-hand side. And so this works out perfectly. The, the image actually kind of already does the work for me as far as um, some of the lighting and shadow. I'm keeping it all up and down because to me that's how a willow tree looks. It looks kind of all up and down, kind of bleeds into each other. And there it is. I have a willow tree off in the background, and it's not too difficult. Now, that's it. So that's how I would represent a, you know, a willow tree and a comic book. It'd just be simple. You don't want to add too many details. Just enough to where, hey, I can tell that that is a willow tree. And again, look at some Dr. Seuss to kind of see the inspiration that I had in my head as I was doing this. I'm like, you know what? That's kind of Dr. Seussian. I like that negative space right there, that white kind of shining through right there. You can add a little more negative spaces if you wanted to. Um, you know, I like this negative space here, so I'm going to kind of shade around it to show that this right here is a negative space. And, and if you're doing color, you can have like blue in the background there to really make it, you know, show that it's different. Now, as you can see, you, you'd be able to tell that that's a, you know, that's a willow tree if you're looking at it in a in a comic book. And that's, that's really it. That's all you want to do is just be able to represent the tree. I might even have some low hanging foliage here in the background. I'm just going to kind of come like that and just kind of boom. You can also have some bushes back here. It's all different kinds of bushes and trees you can draw. Look at my other uh, video I did recently before this one showing you how to draw trees and bushes and grass. All right there you go. You have some and their bushes way off there in the background. Now another thing cool I, I didn't go cover in the other video was what if you wanted to draw a tree way way in the background? Um, there's you know we, it simplifies even more just like if you're doing a painting right? When you're doing a painting you're you're pulling things in the background more. Now this is, this is an oak tree we can represent that pretty easily as well kind of how we did this here. It's kind of using the same style except you know yeah change up a little bit because it's a different kind of tree. But in in the let's say way off in the background I don't know let's say Way off in the background here, this right here wasn't a bush, and I want, and I can actually go like that and kind of just make it kind of shaggy, almost like hair at the at the bottom there. You know, it's kind of shaggy. But anyway, let's say I want to draw a tree way in the background. Here. I can just kind of do the basic outline of the tree here, and be like, you know what? There's the basic outline of the tree. Have some shadow in there. Come down, have some bushes covering part of the background of the tree there. Let's say it has kind of a shape like that. And then I'm going to come in here and just very basically, I want a little bit of, actually, I don't want it like that. My bad. You know what I'm going to do? I want this whole entire top part here to be kind of light and then come in here like that. So I'm thinking about opposite way here about how I, I basically drew where I wanted the light to be and now I'm drawing where I want shadow to be boom and it's just way off in the background like that and it has that kind of basic idea of a tree and you can't see the you know we can't see the tree trunk maybe it's, maybe it's a bush or something like that there's different ways you can do this again I highly recommend studying watercolors you know learning how to watercolor things to simplify things with watercolor so they look cool and especially trees and foliage and learn different techniques of, of foliage and trees with watercolors will really help you with your comic books and simplifying them all right hope you enjoyed this that's how to draw a willow tree and how you can use a reference picture to get the idea to start getting now once you start get the feel of that kind of tree you can just kind of draw it for imagination because you develop techniques and the technique that i develop here for the willow tree is I have this kind of top shape and some of them are kind of like waterfall shapes like this and they kind of come down here and they kind of come up like this and I kind of have the details 
or some maybe some of the bottom is a little bit darker like that you know and then I have some lighting inside of it and that's it that's like one type of shape another type of shape I draw is when you get more toward the end here so it's kind of like to me a Dr. Seuss kind of style comes down kind of shaggy comes down here and then you just have it kind of wisping off at the end almost like almost like hair just kind of hanging down that's kind of how the end of the willow tree kind of looks it's kind of like hair to me and these you know rearranging different different kinds of shapes you see that's how I was able to get that that tree to look how I had it look so yeah that's it